Back in 2008, myself, uh, Tommy Perman and Ziggy Campbell were in a porter cabin out at New Haven, messing around with uh, pieces of junk shop instruments and strange objects that we'd found um, fitting uh, robotic components to them. And the reason we were doing this was because we were interested in the state of uh, social media at the time. And, and we had this idea, what would happen if we built a 21st century equivalent of a uh, player piano? Um, so what would it be like? And we realized it would be obsessed with its own online popularity, just like we were at that time. So what Cyberfon does is every 15 seconds it Googles itself, it checks its online stats on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and all these other sites. And if it feels it's being, it's popular, if people are following it and liking it, then it's happier and it plays more upbeat music. If it feels like it's being neglected, then it sinks back down into depression and plays a, a more <laughs> depressing tune. One of the things I think is quite amusing is Cyberfon actually gives stuff back to its fans. It writes to Twitter and Facebook and says what its mood is. This morning it, it tweeted that it was feeling gloom and people were writing back and saying, cheer up Cyberfon or, or stop being such a diva Cyberfon. And of course those responses, they themselves changed the mood of the piece. The funny thing about Cyberfon is that it very quickly seemed to take on a personality of its own and our emotions, our own emotions towards it changed. So, so to start with, we were protective. And then we started to realize that when people wrote about it, they were writing about Cyberfon. They weren't writing about us as artists. And its fame quickly overshadowed ours. We would never have imagined that, that we'd end up with this going into the uh, International Festival and being housed in the National Museum of Scotland. I think over the past few years, Jonathan uh, Mills and I have been looking at ways in which the National Museum, particularly since the redevelopment two years ago, uh, and the festival can actually work together more closely. So this is just one of a number of projects that have come out of that collaboration. This museum has a huge range of collections covering life, the universe and everything in it. Now amongst these collections, some of the most important ones relate to science and technology and decorative art. So the Cyberfon really almost brings these collections together because it's at once both science and art and it's also interactive which means it's going to be hugely popular with our visitors.